On this video, I'm going to show you what's in my camera bag. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. used to seeing me with my hair done and makeup because typically when we're traveling my hair's in a ponytail and I don't have makeup on. I have some stuff I have to do this afternoon for work. You get to see me all dressed up and pretty. This video is a little bit different than our normal videos because it's not traveling and it's not about the camper. This is something that I've been asked about like what do we use? What is our favorite things to use while we are filming? With so many new people getting into YouTube, I figured I would show y'all what works for us. We've been doing this for about two and a half years now, and we have thrown some stuff away, and we've gotten new stuff, and we've just done a lot of trial and error. So I figured y'all would want to see what's in our camera bag and the things that we go to every day. Now, when we first started the YouTube channel, I started with my DSLR. It was a big bulky camera. I even got a Rode mic for it. The autofocus lens was making noises in the mic when I got the mic. So then that didn't work. It was so heavy, like, oh my gosh, having to carry it around all the time that I was just doing this for fun and just trying to make some videos. I ended up going immediately to our GoPro. Now, when we went to our GoPro, we originally just had a Hero 3, I think it was, and it was in a case. Well, turned out real quick that because it was in the case, the sound quality was not good. So we ended up buying a GoPro 6. And when we bought the GoPro 6, we wanted to put a Rode mic on it, and I found this cool little contraption. And the camera went in it, it had the Rode mic and it sounded great. And we did this for a long time because we really liked the setup. Now, Bill didn't like the setup because it brings attention to you more than just talking to any other camera. Not like talking in public to a camera brings attention anyway. But this added a whole new attention getter because you got like this big fuzzy thing on. Got the GoPro 6. We actually ended up buying two of these. We ended up buying one, and then probably about six months later, we upgraded to another one. So we would have two, so that if we had two different angles or anything like that, we could. Now, when we had the six, we ended up getting a gimbal, and we went to Colorado, and it got possessed. I think I'll link the video to that. A Billy Kid possessed our gimbal because the gimbal worked great for the first few days. And then after we went to Billy the Kid gravesite and the whoosh came through our camera, it ended up, it made weird noises from then on. And we didn't find out for a day or so. So people had to listen to a weird noise in the mic. So we took it off the gimbal and just kept using the six. Then the seven came out and we bought the seven and we hooked it up with this. And that's when we started having mic issues with the GoPro 7. The stabilization was amazing, but it was not working with the Rode mic for whatever reason. And GoPro couldn't tell me. They tried to update the firmware. We still had the issue. There was so much footage. It was probably like every other video wouldn't have sound. And it was not consistent. So that scared me. So we took this and got rid of it. So then we just started using the seven on a tripod and loved it. Sound was much better than the sixes. So we ended up using this setup for a really long time. We just recently, which I'm filming on now, got the eight. I know the nine just came out. I'm frugal and didn't want to spend the money. And I got a really good deal on an eight because the nine had come out. So we ended up getting this eight that I'm filming on now. 
and we really, really like it. It works great. The stabilization, the sound quality is good. We don't have to use a mic. I personally, I hope that it sounds great to y'all because I feel like it sounds good for what it is. My phone, I use it a lot, especially when the new lenses and stuff come out. It has the wide angle lens. If we are gonna run somewhere real quick, I'll just have my phone and I'll video with it. I love using my phone as well as this 8 now that we just got, but which I just started filming on the 8 the last few weeks, so I haven't had the 8 very long. Now the phone, like I said, it's great, but the only issue I have with my phone, editing on and somebody out there might be going, hey, you're doing this wrong, because I don't know. But when I'm editing on Premiere Pro, I have to go into media, this media coder, media coder, media coder, or something like that. And I have to convert this footage over to another type of footage, because if I just use the footage out of my phone, it's real choppy, and it's it's not consistent. Like, you, you wouldn't be able to watch it. That's the only thing I don't like about my phone, is that I do have to convert that footage if I do anything on my phone. Now, tripods that we like. I have tried all kinds of tripods. This one is the Joby mic that everybody likes. I like it, but it's so bulky and big for what we want to do. I don't like it, so it's not in my bag. The one, and I'll show you what it looks like. The one that I'm filming on now is my favorite tripod that we have by far. It is, you can bend its legs like this one, but that one is just more slim and lightweight. It just works so good because like if you want to go grab a real quick shot of something and there's nothing to hook on, you can wrap these things around. I just, I like these way better than the Jobies. I haven't found a Joby that I just love because I can never get it wrapped around anything really tight where these slim legs, like on the one that I'm filming on and this one, it just works so good. Because now I have three cameras, I have two, no, I have four. I have four cameras. <laughs> I have two sixes, a seven, and an eight GoPro. And that's all we use is the GoPro, just for convenience. I have this tripod, and I have the one that I film on. Those are my two main ones. This little one, like when I'm just wanting to have like a little tripod, it's kind of like a little Joby, but it has the legs on it are magnetic, so like you can stick it to something metal and it'll stay. So we really, I use this one, not as much. I'll put one of the cameras on it, but this one and the one that I've got, those are my two favorite tripods that I use all the time. I even have just one little stationary tripod, just so that I have it. This is a new tripod that came with the camera and I like it. It's nice. It's just a good little, it's really just a little pole, but I don't like using these because again, I want to, if I want to throw it open and sit it somewhere, I can. With this, I'm stuck. I can only carry this or hold on to it. I can't convert it real quick if I need another shot. So I don't keep this in my bag. And this was a new one that I got. It's a, a new bear. New bear, I think is what it is. It's a new little tripod. It's got you can make it into a tripod, and then you can even make it taller. You have to, um, let's see. This one will pinch you. Like, that's the reason I don't use it anymore. But I did buy it because I thought we were going to like it. Anyway, this one can extend. And the reason I got this one, it floats in the water. So that if we do any kind of activity that floats, we can use that. Because this was originally the one that I used for floating in the water. But it's kind of small and it just doesn't work out good. So it's not in my bag anymore. Because I would try to use this one as like my carry around. But one, it does, legs doesn't curl, which I love about these. But it kept pinching me every time I would turn it from a tripod into a regular. And I got pinched a lot. So it only goes with us if we're going in water because it floats. I have these two tripods in my bag. I have this we use a lot. It is a, a clamp and you can put the camera on it. A lot of times when I mean, you see my shots that are above this table, I have a GoPro on this and clamped up there up above so that I have a top down shot. So we use this clamp a lot and you can clamp this on all kinds of stuff. But this is in my bag and absolutely love it.
these here are cool little things because like if you've got handlebars or if you need to hook them on something, you can tighten these down and they hold really well. Like we put, when we have the Pioneer, I hook one of these for like a front shot. It holds on to it and it doesn't shake off and it holds really good. I bought another one because I needed two when I was doing the hunting channel and I don't like this one. And this one costs more than this one. This one, I believe it came in some like random GoPro set that I had gotten that had like a lot of different things in it. This little cheap one has been the best, but I definitely keep this one in my bag. It's just heavy and it just doesn't tighten down as good because you have to manually hand tighten it. Where this one, you can snap it. So this one doesn't stay in my bag. Now, suction cups for the car. These are the two that I have used. I've used way more than that. I don't know where the other ones are. This one works okay. It's for a, like a little short suction cup, but this is our go-to. It's a Joby. It goes on to the thing, and then you can adjust it, like this adjust this way, and it even adjusts this way. So you can like adjust the camera looking out the front of the car so many different ways. So this is my go-to, and it sticks and holds really good. And in my car, it'll stick to the dashboard. It stays in our bag because if we need a suction cup one, this is our go-to. It sticks really well. Now, I hadn't stuck these on the outside of our car. I'm really nervous about sticking any of our GoPros on the outside of the car. I see people doing those shots all the time, but it makes me so nervous. <laughs> I mean, like, I need to get something and hook it to the car so that if it falls off, it's not going to, like, tumble down the road. Now, if we go skiing, I take this one. It's a long pole. You can make this one out. And if we go skiing, we'll use this one just for skiing, just so that you can get that long shot from you. It's not like crazy long one, but it's long enough that we can hook them to our bags and still carry it and not be anything crazy long. So this one is only when we're going skiing do I put this one in my bag. Now, you're gonna laugh, but this little thing, it's a timer, a kitchen timer, and you put a GoPro mount on top, and it makes a cool time lapse. If you have like a panoramic view or some kind of view, you can turn this on, and it will go for 50 minutes and it would do a 360 if you even wanted to do that. The only bad thing about it is, you know when it's done and it will scare you. And you don't wanna do that like early in the morning outside your camper when, um, when there's people trying to sleep. Now, I have used it out there and I'll set my timer on my phone to go get it when it's about five minutes before it goes off so that it doesn't. But this, it's just a kitchen timer and it just spins the GoPro. Love this, use this a lot. Another thing that we had bought for the GoPros when we did the hunting channel, they make these remotes that work the camera. So like if you've got the camera somewhere, you can press the remote. The only thing, these probably work like 70% of the time. Everyone, I swear, every time a deer would come out, I would press the button for it to record and I'd look up there and it wouldn't be recording. So I, I couldn't never figure out the rhyme or reason why they didn't or didn't work. But I do have these, but they're not in my bag all the time. When it comes to GoPros, you have got to have a ton of mounts for different places, different clips. You gotta have all these little things to hook them to cameras. But what I have done, I found this great little, it's a foam little bag. And you can customize it to anything that you want to put in here. So I've hooked it up where it has room for three of our GoPros. Because typically, I'm going to have one is going to be on us all the time. And the other three are just there when we need them. A lot of times, I'll put an extra one on a tripod in my bag when we're hiking. But I won't take this whole thing with us hiking or anything. 
but I always try to always pack an extra camera so that if anything happens, you know, like maybe Bill throws a GoPro off of a cliff, if we had to, we would have had another camera for a backup. When I travel, I carry all this in my bag. I keep these extra ones of these because I use a lot of them and I've had some of these break. Like I tightened them down too tight and they broke. So I do have those, but I keep three of those in here. So I'm gonna hold this up and see. So I have these, the quarter mounts in here. I had four GoPros in here because we had the old three, but I'm not using the three or carrying it anymore. But what I've been doing is these little clamps fit right in where that was at. I keep these in there so that way I have extra ones of those in here. We also have extra little SD cards and card readers for the GoPro in here. I've got some extra flat mounts and helmet mounts in here just so if you need them we have those. I have like a huge bag of them. This has like all kinds of extras in it but I don't carry them with me all the time they just stay here and if I need something I can use it out of here I also keep the charger in here which is great and then the cable for charging that stays in this little case by far is my favorite case ever it zips up and it fits inside my bag so nice and it contains a lot of stuff now when it comes to the batteries I know it says that we can mix up the batteries and the new eight has the batteries with this blue on the bottom of them, but I have five batteries for the eight and I keep them in this little case so that way I know which ones these are. And then I have this little bag that I carry with me. I have a, I have a bunch of GoPro batteries. I have like 13 or 14 GoPro batteries. And these will end up getting where they don't charge all the way. Like you'll put them in the camera, you charge it all the way and it's at 50%. So I just bought knockoff brands of them. Even the GoPro brand doesn't last that long. So I just do the knockoff brands. They're cheaper and I just charge them. Now, a neat thing that I do with them is I've got little hair ties, little rubber bands. And every time I charge them, I put one on and then I put it in the bag so you know that this one is charged. If I open up the bag and I change out the batteries, because during the day we probably will go through like five or six batteries, know that if it doesn't have a hair tie on it, it is not charged and it is no good. And I don't remember, some YouTuber had that on their video and I thought that was a great way to keep up with what batteries are charged and what aren't. So that, we do that a lot. So, I have this little bitty bag that I carry and I just throw all of them in there and this goes in there and then I zip that up and then I have this bag of batteries with me all the time. The new GoPro 8 came with this little accessory bag. I have gotten an extra charger in here. I got actually two extra chargers in here. Some more mounts of those little quarter turns. They're in there. I have looked and looked for the perfect backpack to carry my camera gear in. I don't, because I'm not using a DSLR, I don't carry a traditional camera bag because I have GoPro stuff and all of it like goes in little cases like this. So we don't actually have to have a camera bag. And a lot of times I carry my bag with me. I have other stuff in there. It's not just my camera stuff. This bag has blown me away. A uh, built for athletes bag. I'm telling you for the room that's in here, it has a whole compartment that I can just put my GoPro stuff. So like this fits perfect all the way down in the bottom. I've got this new GoPro bag that fits in there. And so those fit like perfect, just right there. I needed something flexible to put all my tripods and all that in. So I found this little travel bag. So I take this little travel bag and I put all the little pieces in it. And then I just take this part apart because this comes apart like that. I stick that in there, I zip this up, all of that in there and zip this up and then I end up 
that's got this compartment up here. I put my batteries in there. That's my battery compartment. And then I still have like this huge section here. And inside this section, I hope you can see this. I'm not good at to throw it this way, but it's got like, it's got a mesh pocket down here. It's got a zipper pocket up here. And then I keep, because I put my iPad in here, I have a keyboard for my iPad for whatever I need. And then I've just got this whole compartment that I can do whatever I want. And for like traveling to places like when we're going to be on a plane, I can use this bag. You can also, on the front of this, like I can fit a tripod on here. So like, because it has all these little straps, I can put stuff here or I can put it inside. I love this bag. It's got like side pieces on it that you can tap tension up. You can put stuff on the sides. With the, if I wanted to put these on the sides, you can do that too. And it like, it fits really good. And it's also got another big compartment back here if you wanted to put more stuff back there. This thing is huge. I mean like for it to be so small, it has a lot of room in it. Yeah, and see look, it's still got like this whole big compartment here with nothing in it. I you typically stick this, this is for when we're on the car or anything like that. I don't typically take it if we're not in the car. So love this new backpack. I just got it. I've always just used like a little backpack that was just like real flimsy and put all my stuff in, but it just never worked really good because you had the one big area. So we've through a lot of trial and error have gone through a lot of gear and I've showed you what's worked, what hasn't worked. So I hope this has helped you if you're starting a YouTube channel or just curious on what gear we use. I just wanted to do a real quick little video about this. Like I said, we only use GoPros. Things that I would like to add to my, my bag. I would love a drone, a drone. I just can't see, cause the drone I want is like $1,200. And I just can't see paying $1,200 for drone footage. And I would probably crash it and kill it. I just, I'm going to wait. Eventually, I'm going to get a drone, I guess. I would love a drone. But with all the new things, like there's certain places you can't fly, places you can fly, and everything, I don't know that I'm going to get that soon. But that is really the only thing that I feel like I'm missing from my camera bag would be a drone. I'm extremely happy with using the GoPros. I've been using the mic out of them. I haven't had any issues. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. Thank you to all our new subscribers. We are getting so close to a thousand. Okay, we're still a couple hundred away, but still that's getting close. Please hit that subscribe button. Makes me feel good. And also like our videos. And I love when people comment below. Maybe tell me some things that you like or that, you know, as far as camera gear, maybe some stuff that maybe I don't know about yet. Till next time, like and subscribe. Have a great day.